Hey there, Connor Kanji here, and welcome back to episode number 16 of Pokemon Shield. In the last episode, we made it all the way here to da 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 da. Well, it's still on side. We made it all the way to still on side. And now we're going to be taking on Alistair in the Ghost Gym. So before we do that, I feel like the best thing to do would be probably to switch Autumn to the front. This is probably going to be her one gym that she's going to be able to take on pretty good. So without any further ado, let's just head on in. Oh, before we do that. Oh, I don't know if I can do that here. I don't think they'll give me that choice. Oh, I don't think there's a clothing store here. I'd like to change into an actual fucking uniform that I want to use. Can you let me just go into... Was it one of the ones that I want to use? No? Okay, thanks. So glad I get to choose. I love it. Hey there! Thank you for the about to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. The bag on your back is looking pretty heavy. Speaking of heavy, let me give you this very special Pokeball. It's a it's heavy ball. Yeah. It, you can use it to catch heavy Pokemon. Dun, dun, dun. Pokeball is your full surprise, don't you think? Anybody got anything important to say? No, how about you? Many challenges have given up on their gym challenges, but you and your Pokemon are hanging in there. So are you, I guess. I'm doing my gym challenge, but I'm raising my Pokemon, but I have yet to make change my team members. Hello there. You come all the way so inside, be sure to win. I Can I please just change what I want to use? It's stupid. Ah, the gym challenger. Are you here to challenge the gym? Yeah. Okay. In that case, please change it to uniform. Yes, change room is uh, right over there. Because we won't let you choose which fucking thing you want to use. You have to fucking just go with the flow. Number 20, uh, do, do your best. Thank you. You you, you sound nervous. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Alright, All right, gym challenge number four. Whoa, 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 what are we doing, fucking pinball? Are we doing pinball? What, are we rolling down at the speed of sound? Allow me to explain the gym mission for Stone Side's gym. To complete the mission, you'll need to ride one of these in one of the cups and make your way to the goal while trying to avoid obstacles. Let me tell you a bit more about how to operate. Rotate your control stick to the right and the cup will start to spin to the right. Left and move left. If you hit a wall, rotate the, the stick as quick as you can to get yourself out of that sticky situation. Now have a good time watching the world spin as you try to reach the goal. Then on you spin and good luck. Okay. Uh, okay. Oh, it's literally you spin the controller. Okay. Okay, this isn't that hard at all once you really get to it. Finish! You did it! Now battle me! You should hopefully be a poison type too. Clive. Pumpkaboo, yep. That's poison. That's the uh, ghost grass. Technically, I could use a fire type here and still beat you. Uh, but we're going to use assurance. It shouldn't do much because I'm a dark type. Good. I made a right call. That, that was a crit. You're fucked. You are fucked. Now I'm going to beat you up. <laughs> what should this do? Like five damage? Seven. Ooh. Man, beat up's good. Especially when it's super effective. Like this it is. Uh, what is your next Pokemon? Phantom. Uh, let's continue. That might also be another poison, uh, ghost grass. Alright, so I'm just going to nasty plot right now. Then I'm probably going to snarl. Horn leech. Okay, that did a shit fuck ton of damage. Fucking snarl it right now. Get out of here. 
Oh my god. Let's not. Pumpkaboot. Alright, so for this, since I know it's that, I'm just going to bring out Pandra. You can do it! So it looks like this guy specifically is more of a grass, uh, grass, uh, fucking ghost. I can't, I don't know why, I, I always want to call it, like, poison. Ghost. Alright. So it looks like our two best bets for this gym are going to be Pandra and Autumn. That looks like our best bet. So let's heal the fuck up. Uh, super. Now we can move on. Challenge number two. Spin the wheel. Spin the wheel. Nope. No. Okay. So that's going to help us get to higher places if we need to. All right. No. Okay. Let's go left here. Oh, this just brings us back up. Move over. That'll push us up so we can move over again. Uh, push us up so we can move over again. Come, come on. Oh, my lord. There we go. There we go. We did it. Finish. Fight me. Fight me, Lin. Line. Course. Corsola. Whoa. Corsola. Hello. Is this a Galarian Corsola? She looks so sad. <laughs> She looks so sad. I'm gonna beat it up. It's a cool design, but she looks sad. Your defense falls, but your speed rises. Well, you got a few more hits coming your way. Oh my god, she's gonna lose defense the entire thing. Oh my god, beat it was the perfect move for Corsola. Wow. Keep losing that defense. I'll just keep beating you up. Oh, that one did a lot. Boy, did I pick the perfect move for Corsola. Oh, boy. So, for weak armor, what you need to do is pick a move that attacks multiple times. Oh, toxic. Hello? Goodbye, Flail. Hello, Toxic. Now they're starting to learn some good moves. Imagine that. Why? So he can't hum humiliate himself? Alright, let's do this again. This one looks like it's going to be ones that not only send us up, but also send us down. Rolling a ow. Alright, so we want to go left. Which is then going to send us up. So we need to somehow... Okay, I see what we're doing here. I see what we're doing. We need to come over here. That's going to send us up. And then we need to roll all the way right. Yep, I see. Oh my lord, oh my lord, oh my lord, hello! <laughs> okay! Thank you for the automatic section. Oh, we got one last fight. Hello, sir. Can you understand what ghost type are weak to? Dark. Hence why I'm using it, Roy. Oh, you got a horner. And the big tongue. How many you got? One, two, two? Okay. Um, do, 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 do. let's use nasty plot again. Oh, he's being mean to me. I can't escape. Oh no, the horror. I'm just going to raise my special attack and then you snarl. You're using a dark type move against a dark type Pokemon. That's a great strategy. 
I can see it did not pan out well for you. Gizmo's leveling up too. We're getting really close to getting people up to their final evolutions. I'm getting excited to see everybody's final evolutions. Except the one that I already know because, you know, Corviknight. <laughs> Stockpile. Hello? Raising up that defense. Raising up that death. I like it. You know how to treat me to a good time. Goodbye, hello. More people leveling up. Night Slash, hello, yes. But what do I get rid of? It's 70. I mean, Assurance, right? If the target... <sighs> That's the thing about Assurance. Assurance is better if you already get... If you get attacked and you use it, it's good. But Night Slash also gives you chances to get crits. As much... And I want to keep beat up because of the thing like weak armor, stuff like that, where it can help out in those situations. Some people would get rid of that. I want to keep Snarl and Nasty Plot because they go well together. So I think I'm going to get rid of Assurance. And thankfully, I have the move Relearner, so if I ever feel like I want Assurance back, I can always bring it back. So, I'm going to do this. Slam. What does Coil do again? Raises attack, defense, and accuracy. Slam. I don't care for slam. And what does Bell learn? Anything? <gasps> Drill pack. Boy, everybody just learning all these fantastic moves. By peck. Hello, Drill pack. Oh my god, everybody learning some pretty good moves when they turn fucking like level 32 to 34. Oh my goodness. Alright. Well, let's go fight this gym leader. Congratulations! You did it! Hi mom! I did it! Now I get to go fuck up this gym leader. Alright, let's do it. Is he coming from the other side? There he is. M Malister. Here I go. And that's it. That's it. That, that, that's all she wrote, folks. Obviously very shy. How many Pokemon you got, Alistair? Four Pokemon? I gotta say, I love the music in this game. Especially when you include, like, the gym leader theme. It's pretty good. Night Slash this fucker. Nice. Oh, you're gonna fucking switch up our things. I forgot that's what that does. Old strategy. Didn't think it worked. And I'm just gonna take back my unburden. All right, let's just do that again. What I'm going to want to do is somewhere in here, I'm going to want to build up my nasty plot. Probably try to do it twice. So when the final Pokemon comes out, I can just demolish it in one shot. Mimikyu. Look at Mimikyu. All right, um, what do I want to do here? Let's do a nasty plot now. Slash. Okay. I do not want that landing a crit. Really don't. So I'm going to snarl you right the hell now. Please don't crit. Okay, good. Please get him at least to... Oh, I forgot Mimikyu's thing. The disguise. I forgot the disguise. That goes to show how long it's been since I played Sun and Moon. I completely forgot about that. Good thing I remember now. When it's not going to hurt me that much. Alright, uh, let's try the Snarl again. 
Hone Claws. Oh, God. He's building up that attack. Always oh, building up that attack. I need the Snarl to do damage. It's not enough. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, I'm going to Nasty Plot again. He's probably going to slash me. Hopefully, this doesn't crit. Thankfully. I'm going to Nasty Plot. Get the special attack up once more. Heal. And then we're going to go in for the final... Uh, the kill. The final attack. The finishing blow. I couldn't think of words. Use a Shadow Snake. Thank you. Please use that again. I'm fine with you using that. It's not effective. Please. This is going to be the one that crit. Please just kill Mimikyu. Thank you. No, no. That was a lot of EXP though. Cursula. Cursula? I realized that it didn't say Corsula. Ha what the fuck are you? What in the fuck are you? Okay, let's heal you up. Yo, Corsola's new form looking mighty weird. Ancient power! Okay, they didn't do a shit ton of damage. Um, I'm gonna heal up another time. Oh god, that fucking raises everything! Alright, I'm gonna heal one more time. Then I'm gonna beat it up. Hopefully it's the thing where like the defense goes down as you do it. Hopefully. You're gonna curse me. Does that do half my damage or does half your health? Because you're, yeah. I forgot what curse can do. Oh, you did damage. Um, well, I'm definitely beating you up now. Hopefully, you have the weak thing. Yes, weak armor. Good. Good choice by me. Yes, yes. Goodbye, Cors Cursula, Cursula, Cursula. Not Cursula, Cursula. There we go. Cursula is down. Hopefully, Curse doesn't kill me. Doesn't look like it, thankfully. Autumn's oh, leveling up again. Oh, the Curse. I think Curse keeps doing that until I take it out. That's what sucks. Yo, Gengar. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping Autumn in. My very last Pokemon. How lonely. How frightening. I'm keeping him in. I'm gonna fucking destroy this. Hopefully in one shot. Hopefully. Oh, uh, special attack went up by four. So this is where I find that thing. Yep, it takes damage at each time. Fuck. All right. Um, we're gonna Dynamax and Max Darkness this thing. Gengar Gigantamax, swallow everything in the darkness. So he's faster. Shit. You don't like to see that. Oh, Gigantamax, I just realized he said. Not Dynamax, Gigantamax. Oh, fuck. Boy, his mouth is open. Oh, no. This could be dangerous. Oh, man. Oh, this is gonna be... It's gonna be a battle here. Max Ooze. Ew. Please don't kill. Please don't kill. Thank you. What is he raising? The special attack. Okay. Come on, do at least half. Or kill in one shot. Okay. Gengar, yeah, you got absolutely fucked. You got fucked. You didn't even have a choice. You didn't even have a chance, not a choice. You didn't even have a chance. Oh my god. That's what two nasty plots will do for you. Oh, uh, 
I nearly lost my match from the shock. That was... Wow. I can see your skill for what it is. Jesus. Crumbs. That was ace. Here. A ghost badge. We got our fourth badge. That's probably going to the left side. There it goes, right in there. Now we can catch up to level 40. G good luck with uh, everything. I, I will. Challenge your country, you defeated our gym leader, Alistair. Take this TM. Curse X. I didn't see him use it once. And a complimentary ghost type uniform. That you can't put on easily. You gotta fucking wear it around everywhere. Alright, let's move on. Let me go heal real quick. Oh, work! Hi, Sonya. Or Leon. Probably Sonya. Looks like my Yamper really likes you, huh? Anyway, you're running to each other at a good time. You know the mural here? It's said to tell a story of the hero of Galar as well. So that's where today is actually, that's where, that's there today is actually a replica of ancient art that used to be here. You tend to have some surprisingly sharp insights, so I was wondering if you might think when you, what you might think when you see the ruins. There it goes. It just went boom. Whoa. What in the world was that? Sounds like it came from the direction of the ruins too. <gasps> Let's have a look. Come along, Yamper. Yep, somebody just blew it up. I called that shit. There was a crack in it. Anybody who could fucking see the crack could tell that it was going to fucking blow up. But before I do anything, I need to heal up. Thank you. Okay. This is great, great. Just yawn. <laughs> yeah, just yawn. Alright, let's go to the fucking ruins. Or the mural, I should say. The mural looks kind of intact from this angle. But something blew up by it. Whether it was a mural itself or something near it, we'll see when we get up there. Thankfully, in the last episode, we were able to collect everything before coming up. Hi, Sonya. What's going on up there? What, you're not gonna go up yourself? You're gonna make the fucking child go do it? Thanks! Oh! Big elephant! Alright, bead! Destroy it! Destroy it all! We're gonna find those wishing stars. Rush. We've got... <laughs> my throat. We've got to bring the chairman more wishing stars if we want to please him. Kaparaja! I think that's what I said. If you're truly the chairman's Pokemon, then you should feel grateful for this chance to help him find the wishing stars. Fucking hello, Bead. Uh, good thing I have... On oh, him out front in case I need to face you. Yo, the fuck you doing? Oh my. You again. So you think you can start collecting wishing stars now and get in the chairman's favor? I'm just gonna take a fucking drink. That's all I'm here for. And no, I'm not in trying to get in the chairman's favor. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck you're doing. That's the way of things, is it? I see you, you, so you do have some cunning in you. No, I don't! But I won't have it. I won't allow anyone to stand in my way. I'm not trying to get in his good favor. I'm trying to figure out why you're trying to destroy a fucking wall. You fucking psychopath. Man, it's a good thing I do have Autumn on my team. Two straight battles that we really need her in. We have the gym challenge, all ghost, and now this fucker, all psychic. Huh, I've already seen more than enough to judge you and your team's abilities. You only have psychic! All I need is a dark type and you're fucked! <laughs> That's all I need! Oh, hello! I see you're evolving in- oh... I've seen things of your potential final evolution up online. That's where it comes from. Okay. 
This might hurt. However, I'm still dark. You have everything psychic. That might turn into a psychic fairy, but you're still psychic. You are fucked. Yo, if Autumn Transport evolves after this, that'd be great. I don't even know what you're sending out. I'm just gonna... Ah, the Ponyta. Ah, the Night Slash. Ah, it's dead. You do not know how to train your fucking Pokemon. Maybe if you had a diverse cast of Pokemon. Did that say Growlithe? Did that just say Growlithe? Oh, Gotharita. I thought it said Growlithe. I was like, what the fuck? Well, Gotharita can get a fucking Night Slash too. Oh, it's crying. Oh, poor thing. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'll just fucking beat it up. You're dead, Gotharita. Your tears don't work. Yeah, one time, that's all it took. It knew from one beating that it was done. This has to be some kind of mistake on a mana do-over. Get off your high and mighty bullshit. Ah! Gizmo's evolving! Whoa, hello! Inteleon. Is this the evolved form of Eevee? You know we got Vaporeon, we got Flareon. Now we have Inteleon. Yo, he looks cool. I don't care what anybody says, I like Inteleon. And he's just a water secret agent Pokemon. Does he learn a new move? Yeah, of course he does. Snipe shot? Okay. So, it's kind of like Water Pledge. Ignores the effect of the opponent and draws and moves, allowing the... Mm -hmm. I could get rid of Water Pulse, and I think I will. Because I want to have Water Pledge on the thing. The only thing about Water Pulse is it also can confuse, play, uh, confuse the team, but I'm going to get rid of it for now. Oh my goodness! Gizmo, you're looking fancy. And the other one doesn't evolve. No, it doesn't. But why? How can this be? I was a chosen. I was the one chosen by the chairman. I was the one who was supposed to defeat the champion. I'm one of the elite. Someone who could shoulder the future of the Gala region. Challenger Bead. Hello, everyone. What are you all doing here? I was wondering what you were up to when you asked to borrow the chairman Rose's Copperaja. I can't believe you tried to use the chairman's Pokemon to try to try and destroy a historical site. Who cares for some ancient ruin when the next thousand years are at stake? Do you did you stand in the path of a Pokemon simple beam or something? How do you expect to support the chairman with that sort of thinking? Young Bead. It it pains me to have to say this, but I am truly disappointed. It's true that I am the one who found you, back when you were all alone. I saw talent in you. You reminded me a little bit of myself back when I was young. That's why I sent you to a trainer school, to give you the chance of success. But trying to destroy the mural? Part of Galar's history? You show no love towards Galar. You are truly... I just spit all over my mic. You are clearly not worthy, Challenger, for the gym challenge. We will decide what to do later. For now, you're going to return to Hammerlock. Yo, his eyes are like, whoa. You, you, you must be joking, right? You're disqualifying me from the gym challenge? But you're the one who endorsed me. There are a hundred different ways we could sort this out. Why are you choosing the worst possible option? Challenge a bead. I will be taking those wishing stars that you've gathered. Whoa, 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 whoa! The two men are coming in to fucking beat him up! Ah. Uh, ah, uh, Sonya and Kondria too. A terrible shame, all this. An absolute disaster. 
I never wish to see us lose challenges for this sort of reason. Yet, we do what we must do to keep things fair and sportsmanlike. Yo, did Bede actually get disqualified, or is this just story? You know, during one of Bede's matches, I heard the announcer say that Bede has no family. Apparently, it was Rose who took Bede under his wings, and so Bede was battling for the chairman's sake. What an awful turn of events. I, I hope the mural survived all of that. It's gonna break down, you know it will. It, it will. There it goes. You saw it coming. I wonder if he was trying to hide this. The two a legendary Pokemon. With a sword and a shield. She's figuring it out. She's using her brain. She's figured it out. By golly, I think she's got it. Not a brilliant turn of events, but the ruins were brought into light for us to see. What does this tell us about Galar's Legends? Pokemon. They use Pokemon, right? More than any hero, there's those things that appear to be Pokemon that stand out. Not just that, but those Pokemon appear to be holding a sword and a shield as if they were using them. And anything else look interesting to you? It's the same as the tapestries. Oh, good observation. There really were two heroes, but if that's the case, then why only one statue at the Badoo drop in? More than any statue of a hero or tapestry, these ruins made in truly ancient times must show us the real truth. Which means... Well, I'm going to say it because I'm playing Pokemon Shield, but the Shield is a Pokemon. Yup, I was thinking the same thing. Seems like at some point in history, the sword and shield were combined with the two actual Pokemon and treated us, treated as the same thing. But then what? They just faded from history? Two young heroes, the sword and shield were actually Pokemon, but why would the truth of these ruins be hidden with when their stories were depicted in artwork? Somebody's trying to keep it from us. With your help, I really feel we made a big discovery here. Thanks, I'll give you a couple of these. I swear to God, if you give me more fucking revives. Why? Why does nobody give you anything but fucking revives? You know, I have other things I would like, you know, like Pokeballs, Ultra Balls, Potions. Jesus. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe Chairman Rose really is trying to hide some things from us that he doesn't want everybody learning about. Who knows? Maybe Bede was actually doing the right thing and Chairman Rose didn't want him figuring some certain things out. Well, in the next episode, we will be heading over to Balan Leah. And I think there's like a little route in between it. If I'm not mistaken, let me just quickly check. Yep, there's a little area in between. We have the uh, Glimwood Tangle. That will lead us to Balan Leah. So, in the next episode, we'll be heading up there. And seeing what I'm presuming to be Opal's gym will have in store for us. So, thank you for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And I hope to see you in the next one.